see this one so you can take your time now it is saying that let a which is having element 1 2 3 till n be an array is storing a bit 1 or 0 okay so it is storing a bit either 1 or 0 okay so this array is storing either 1 or 0 so this is an array a okay and in every in every block it is either having 0 or 1 1 0 3 okay so an array 1 to n be an array storing a bit 1 or 0 okay either 1 or 0 at each location now fm is a function whose time complexity is theta n so what is going to be the size here that is going to be the time complexity here okay now consider the program fragment written in c like language so in c they have written this program counter is equal to 0 for i equal to 1 i is smaller than equal to n i plus plus now if a of i is equal equal to 1 then counter plus plus else it will count it will call the function f on counter then again it will make after call after this function call it will again make counter equal to 0 okay that that counter is a variable again it will make into 0 now they are asking the time complexity of this fragment so they are asking the omega and bigo and theta also. so means the least bound best time complexity for that best case in best case what is going to the time complexity in worst case what is going to be the time complexity is it clear question is clear or not please let me know anyone having doubt in question now for this loop you need to find the time complexity best best case time complexity and worst case time complexity anyone having any doubt in question then you can let me know we say it's saying n so what is n it is a best case or worst case best case you have to find best case worst case average case you have to find all the three you have to find all the three now take one two minute then i will start so worst case him also is saying big of n Theta n, we say it's saying theta n means average is theta n. Okay. Now see here. So when you are going to get best case, when you will when you will run this for loop and always a of this a array is always having one. So always having one. So you are not calling the function this a. You are not calling that. You are not going to else part always you are calling that always you are calling the always if case getting satisfied if this then counter plus plus if a one yeah one counter plus plus then counter is going to one again a of one so it is starting from one to a of two one yeah counter plus plus again counter plus plus again counter plus plus understood so in base case what will happen that you are never going to go in else part that function is never going to call so in base case you are going to get time complexity as big of n sorry omega of n please let me know whether it is clear or not in base case in base case whenever see this for loop is going to execute till n time for i equal to 1 to n so always it is going to run for loop is going to run for n time so in base case what is going to happen you will never go in else part always do the if part if part is taking the constant time if part is always taking the constant time it is increasing the counter you are going to big of n you are going to big of n so base case is going to your big of n now in worst case what can happen that there are some zero also and you are calling the f counter f counter okay 
Now what I will do, I will increase the counter. You assume that last bit is having the zero. Last bit is having the zero. What can happen? If there are many cases, I will give you the note. First, first I am trying to make it understand. Okay. So when the counter, the last point is zero. So here counter is going to become n minus one. Like this counter will will value will go n minus one. When here n is five, then you have seen that till here the counter become four. So it will go till n minus one. Okay. One, then two, then three, then four, like this. So then again you will call the function this in else part when a, a of 5 is equal equal to 1. No, it will go in else part. Then it will call the f n minus 1. So its time complexity is going to your whatever is the size here. So it is going to your n minus 1. It is going to your n minus 1. So here you require big of n for running this loop and for calling this function you require big of n minus 1. So in worst case also it is going to your n because that is going to your 2n but in in asymptotic notation it is going to your big of n so when you calling this function also then also it is going to your big of n okay even if in middle it will get the zero then also it is going to your big of n only because you are making the counter as zero again you are making the counter as zero okay the after this function call you are again making the counter as zero so if your array is having the input like if the array is having the input like like 1 1 1 then 0 then again 1 then again 1 then again 1 so for n by 2 for n by 2 times the counter will become the counter is like n by 2 now again you get that element is 0 so you will go to in else part and that f is going to call in n by 2 it's going to take time complexity as n by 2 then again the counter is going to become 0 again this you are going to call again that function is going to call in n by 2 if last if you are again going to get 0 here so whenever you will try to do if the function if whenever the function will call it will be in asymptotic wise it is going to see the sum is going to your n only is going to n only because always you are co counting the counter see here you are always counting the counter counter plus plus then then after whenever you are calling this function then again you are resetting the counter equal to 0 okay so if you take as a aggreg aggregative see aggregation aggregative is a function like means uh, as a whole if you will take then the counter is going to take at max at max as n at max it is going to be n am i clear the maximum to hoye hoga na kyunki fir to counter ko zero kar dega clear ho raha to ab ego bhi aapko mil raha hai n aur omega bhi aapko mil raha hai n to theta kya hoga theta hai इसलिए आपका आंसर सी हो गया करेक्ट बिकॉज़ सी इज हैविंग डेटा प्लीज लेट मी नो whether it is clear or not now i will give the explanation anyone having any doubt please let me know samajh mein aaya sabhi ko kahin pe koi doubt hai to puchiye in any place if you are having the difficulties you can ask me i will make it clear see what i am doing i am assuming that the array is having element 1 2 what means this part is having like when first half when see when half one and then half zero okay so then for if part if part it requires for if part it requires how many see for half i am assuming that for half part it is having one and for half it is having zero now then for first then for if part it will require how much first half it will run big of n by 2 times n by 2 times okay now then for the else part else part with a simplicity yeah then for else part it will require how much so for next one then for next one like here here 0 then again 1 so a, you are going to get 0 0 like this now this is the this till this the counter is going to n by 2 so for this 0 it is going to be n by 2 then again for every time again for every time it is going to execute here so this counter is going to be 0 only counter 0 then again it is going to take 0 0 0 0 because after this if it will call this function in n by 2 after this call 
After this call, the counter is going to zero. It's going to call on f n by two. So this is going to take n by two time. Then counter is going to zero. Okay. After this, so this function call is going to take n by two time. N by two, n by two. See that they, they have taken n by two. After this, whenever zero zero is there, then again it is going to your f of zero, f of zero, f of zero because counter is going to zero. Okay. So total time complexity in worst case it is going to your sum of that it is going to your n by two plus n by two it is going to your big answer. Is it clear now? See, I will give the explanation. With explanations, it will be more clear. See, the key part here, the key part is the the key part in the code is the counter. The key part in the code, the key part in the code is counter equal to zero. Is the counter equal to in the else part? So this is the key part in the code, in the else part. Okay. Let take the best case. Let's take the best case. This happen. This happen when this happen when a of i when a of i is equal to one for all i for all i a of i is going to your equal to one and then and then the loop execute and then loop execute with with time so loop is going to take constant time with time complexity theta one so loop is going to take theta one for each iteration for each iteration for each iteration and hence and hence overall and hence overall time complexity hence overall time complexity of we go that is theta of n and we can and we can say And we can say time complexity of time complexity of of the code of the code fragment the code fragment is omega of one and hence option A and B. Since option A and B are false, now we consider. Now consider the worst case. Now consider the worst case. This happens. This happens when a of y is equal to zero, or when else part. Or when else part is, or when else part is executed, or when else part is there, the time complexity, there the time complexity, there the time complexity of each iteration, there the time complexity of each iteration will be. Theta of the counter, whatever will be counter at that time, and after that, and after each else counter is each else counter is reset to reset to zero. So when all zeros, then what will happen? So when all zeros in at this array. Then what will happen? The time complexity, the time taken is it often as only f zero is called as only f zero is called n times 
so when you are calling this when the array is having only zero only zero then always it is going to call the counter is going to be zero only so if counter is going to time taken is going to be theta of n only because every iteration is going to take big of zero big of zero big of one is constant time only okay now second when half once then half zero see first let me know whether this is clear or not i am saying that what are the inverse case what will happen when you will go to the else part when you can go in the else part when you are having zero in the array so first i am assuming that when all zero in array when it is having only zero in array so always the else part is going to get executed and else part it is going to take the time is going to the uh, the counter whatever the counter you are calling so every time it is going to call on f0 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 so it is going to take constant time only constant time only so for each iteration it is taking the constant time and you are calling the fun this function till n time so it is going to be that's why it's theta of n understood now that's fine so when half first then half zero okay in this case so then for if part then for if part it requires it requires n by 2 times for if part it requires n by 2 times then for else part it require approx approx n by 2 times so total time complexity here so total time complexity here is going to be big of n big of n Okay, if you are done with the writing, then please let me know. So when n minus one times one and last zero, at last number and last number as zero and last number last number is so for n minus 1 times for n minus 1 for n minus 1 then here for n minus 1 for n minus 1 once if part require if part require b of n minus 1 time and for last bit that is 0 else part require else part require function of counter that is going to be an n minus 1 first require that is Big of n minus one time. So again, so again, time complexity is going to big of n minus one plus big of n minus one. It is going to be big of. N. We have seen that omega is also n, big O is also n. So it is going to theta of n. C is the correct answer. Okay. That's why C is the correct answer. Understood? Anyone is still having any doubt?